video and subscribe to my channel so today we have a new show alert it's called p valley on stars it's like a um updated players club so let me look at my notes so it starts off with the um one of the main characters i don't know look like she was surviving a flood or something i'm not gonna say new orleans but basically that's what it looked like and you remember when they had the group of people that were ride on the buses you know, so they can take them to another city. She was on, she ended up on one of those. First off, she looked to beat up, like somebody had beat her up, and she had like a, a suitcase. So when the bus made like a, a break stop, she just got off the bus and she never got back on. So then, I, I need to make sure I get this right. She, uh, Showed up at this strip club called Pink's. Yeah, that's how he was calling it, Pink. And at Pink, you know, she wanted to go in or whatever. It was twenty. It was twenty dollars for men and thirty for females. But she didn't have the cover charge. So then she saw on the sign outside it was amateur night. So she was like, the winner, you know, win fifty dollars or whatever. So she got in the contest. When she got in, she had on like going to an office club clothes, like long skirt, you no know, button down shirt or whatever. So the owner named Un Uncle Clifford, he's um, a cross dresser. I can't say he's not trans, he's, he, he dresses in women clothes and whatever. He had her go buy some lingerie to dance in from the little boutique they got inside the club. Now some clubs had a little boutique, you can buy your outfit. So she didn't have enough for this, so the lady sold it to her for $10. So she went out there, eventually she won the contest or whatever. She told him her name was gonna be Autumn Rain. He was asking what their names was, were gonna be, and it was Autumn Rain. Then like, the main dancer, her name Mercedes, and on Sundays they had Mercedes Sundays, and she planned on, planned on retiring. So I'm gonna go by character. So Mercedes was like the premier dancer, she was the headliner. She also was the daughter of an evangelist. I think her mom was an evangelist or whatever. So she has a um, dance team that she, you know, that she works with, which is her team. So she she got a lot of stuff going on. So she planned on retiring. So when it started off, she was telling him, you know, Sunday was gonna be the last Mercedes Sunday, and she make a lot of little money. And one night, you know, she was getting off work on her Mercedes Sunday. Her mama showed up in the parking lot, you know, preaching, dropped down on her knees, asking the Lord why he cursed her. And then so Mercedes just gave her some money. Then all of a sudden, yeah, he, you know, he accept offerings and all that. I'm like, her mama's so full of it. But anyway, that was Mercedes. Then there's another young girl named Mississippi. She just came back off maternity leave. She showed up to the club with her baby beat up. So they watching the baby in the back trying to fix her face so she can go dance. She danced and ended up falling and busting her head again. She was already bleeding on the body that the customer had on the stage. So it was crazy. So when uh, Autumn won the little, you know, the amateur night, she asked about a job. So he told her, you know, she could start or whatever. He wanted Mercedes to train her, and he was like, he don't know why she was tripping because she was leaving the club anyway. And... It was just, I don't know. They had, they, oh, they had one customer came. It was a, a up and coming rapper. He said he was popular. I don't know. What did he say he rapped? His name was Lil Murder. He actually was uh, down low. He said he rapped uh, reggae, trap reggae soul. It was garbage truck juice. And yeah, he had. 
came in there. He was perpetrating. That's the name of the episode, perpetrating. He had his little Louis bag. With, he had a couple of stacks in there, but he had a couple of uh, uh, those floral arrangement things that they put the water in to keep the flowers moist. The way the bag down makes it seem like he had a whole, whole lot of stacks in there. Yeah, he was perpetrating real hard. So he was in the VIP. Um, they had some little girls in there. And di um, I'm going to call this girl Diamond. Diamond was a uh, security. He was so fine, but he looked like he was crazy. He was light-skinned, too. You know, they kind of crazy. But so, Lil Murder was in VIP. And Mercedes came in there. You know, she see what he was trying to spin. She ran that little dancers off. But they wanted, you know, Autumn. Talking about she looked like Beyonce cousin. No, she don't. So she went and got her, because she did the school her anyway, to come in there and dance. So she went, it was the VIP champagne room, whatever. So old boy was like telling Mercedes, you know, she can get more money if she go to the other room with him. But when she go to the other room, he got her listening to his old whack music, going her to dance out for her. But she was like, uh, no. And he going to tell her, you know, she ain't, he ain't going to pay, give her money, you know, that he was going to pay her. She was like, I don't care. Basically, she's like, that's trash. She said, I got too much integrity for that. So while they was in there, Autumn was still trying to dance for his other little partners that was real drunk, and they started tripping. So security came out and, you know, handled them. So old boy that's the rapper, he ran out looking for her. He ran into the owner, Uncle Clifford. Uncle Clifford, real flamboyant with the long nails. He had the blonde weave, everything. So he couldn't hear what he, Uncle Clifford couldn't hear what he was saying, so he put him in the room. He was telling him, you know, he the owner, what's the problem? And so a boy was like, oh, I just want to apologize to the dancer, this, that, and the third. And you know, Uncle Clifford was like, well, shoot, you know, I'm the owner, you know, I got everything you need here. We got white, black, Asian, you know, whatever, whatever. He was like, nah, I need something else. Then, you know, he started playing on Uncle Clifford has something. I'm like, okay, so now we got the, the down low gangster rapper. So... They, I guess they did whatever they do, because when it was time for Mercedes to dance, Uncle Clifford tried to hand the DJ Lil Murder's uh, EP or whatever. And she's like, cut that off. And he put her music back on. But, yeah, it was crazy. Then they had, like, a, uh, it was some creepy dude just outside taking pictures of everything. And basically, Uncle Clifford got that club, and he owed a whole lot of money. He in a hole on it, about to lose it. And it wasn't much of nothing. I was underwhelmed. I was expecting more because from the preview, it like it's going to be real good. But I don't know. Check it out. Tell me what you think. That was just the first episode. Maybe it gets better. I don't know. We'll see. But that was P Valley. And it was, like look, I guess, based in Mississippi. And it looked like somebody fleeing, like, New Orleans, Katrina or something, they never said where she was fleeing from because they didn't go into detail. Yeah, because on one part, she was in a little regular apartment where she stayed at and it just had like a mattress on the floor. And she was looking at her phone, she was sloppy drunk at a picture of a little pretty little girl. So I don't know if it was her little girl. And she was so drunk, she wasted her drink on it and messed her phone up and busted out crying. But other than that, it was not much going on. It was, I don't know, i see the next episode what it's looking like. But it's called P Valley on Stars, and it comes on Sunday nights. Tonight was the premiere episode. It was the first episode. It was okay. It wasn't all late. It wasn't nothing to write home about. So, you know, tell me what you think if you watched it. If you haven't watched it, go check it out and come back and tell me what you think. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's my birthday weekend. I still got my Keep It Classy sign up in the back. I'm going to take it down, though. I'm take it down. Yeah. All right. Bye.